Ahoy there, Legion! Was towing between two different Warframe videos today, so it came down to the wire, and as logic would dictate, I opted to do neither! At this point, all I can say, my brain is against me, but there's little the rest of me can do about it but to continue this Cold War of attrition. This is gonna be a fun recording session to edit, I can already tell. A friendly Legionnaire by the name of Mr. Rivas asked me last week for the top three weapons to fight each various faction, as well as my favorite weapon and why. Now, there'd be a lot of weapons floating around out there, and many patches change their usefulness and supposed ranking around a bit, but unless they completely revamp the system this year, the elemental damage mods will always be consistent. Just equip the right mods and you'll be set with whatever weapons you choose to use. Well, of course, some will have inherent bonuses that will help more than others, but that's not excessively important. You can figure that stuff out really fast in the field. First up, Infested. The four types of health they have is Infested, which isn't confusing in the slightest. Infested Flesh, again, totally cake to tell them apart. Fossilized and Infested Sinew. You know, they're basically space zombies, so I suppose I shouldn't be too hard on them for their naming philosophies. Infested Sinew only applies to Ford at the moment, so if you aren't fighting him, this one isn't even an issue. I'm assuming the new Golem fight coming out will eventually have this as well, but that's just an off-the-hip prediction. I'd basically ignore this one, but just to keep it simple, don't use blast damage on him, and you'll do fine. Infested Flesh isn't a lot of them either. If they crawl, fly, or explode in your face, that's these guys. Infested are exactly that. Virtually all infested are infested. Fossilized are ancients and most of the new infested enemies that have been added recently. So let's get those numbers up there on the screen. As you can hopefully see, thanks to Future Me's overlay... I, I said thanks to Future Me's overlay... Yeah, I got it. You're too kind. For the most part, you'll want to deal gas damage to them, which is a mixture of toxin and heat. You'll need both, otherwise you'll just do one or the other. They combo into a different result than what they are individually, which is kind of weird, but just know it does a decent chunk to them. But Ancients will prove to be a bother. They are most susceptible to corrosive, which is electric and toxin, as well as slash. So you might want to set up your primary to take out most of the infected, and gear up your melee with corrosive to take down the other hard targets. Next up, Corpus. Corpus have... I said Corpus had I'm doing it now! What's the bloody point complaining about? Don't you give me an attitude? You're the one that didn't- Just read it already! <laughs> Psycho's gonna choke a bit. Shields are on nearly every grunt unit. Proto shields are on the heavy targets like bosses and techs. Flesh is on all their humanoid targets after you scramble their precious little shields. And robotics are, well, robotics they use. If it isn't humanoid, it's that. To melt their many shields, magnetic is the way to go. It's a mix of cold and electric, by the by. Now you can just finish them off with whatever you want, but if you must know, toxin is a suitable third elemental option after magnetic. It won't do as much, but it does do its damage through shields, so it kind of balances out. Finally, Grenier. You know what, I'll, I'll just do it myself. Oh, you got it? Yeah, it's great. Don't worry about it. Okay, gonna go downstairs, get some ice cream. The cookie dough? Yeah. yeah. I finished that. Seriously? Recording! Grenier have cloned flesh on most of their targets, ferrite armor on most of the non-heavy units, other than of course the heavy gunner just to make it ironic, alloy armor, which is similar to proto shields of Corvus, only here it's cooler because it's Grenier. Think bombards, but as the difficulty increases, elite lancers sneak it in there and get it too, so be warned. Also there's machinery, but that's basically just rollers. They generally are really squishy, so anything will do the trick on them. Grenier are tricky as the mods change depending on what level you're fighting. If level 20 or below, corrosive goes a long way. But as soon as those elite lancers start popping up and the other heavy targets become more numerous, radiation quickly takes over on usefulness. Oh, and pardon me. That's fire and electric to make that. As far as my favorite weapon, it's gone through quite a nerf and still isn't as good as what it was before update 14. Not even gonna talk about the extreme ammo nerf it got hit with. Well, other than that last statement about it, I'd have to go with the Ogress. I love me some Ogress, even if he is pretty banged up. The ranged AoE has very hard per shot, though the reduced radius from what I'm used to is still annoying, and the weapon has plenty of frustrating bugs. If the host is laggy, you basically don't have a primary weapon as the rockets just disappear instead of explode. Your rockets can also be shot out of the air, or hit the wall right next to an enemy and not damage anyone. It just happens. That said, it's still my favorite. And if I ever use a consumable on a weapon, this would be the first one in line for such an honor. You did finish the ice cream! Well, I didn't lie. Thank you for watching, Legion. If this guide helped you out or put a smile on your face, we'd be honored if you liked, favorited, it, and shared this video with your fellow Tenno. It always helps us out when he does. If you want to be even more awesome, be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on Warframe's stuffs, as well as be alerted to our other Zanny uploads three times a week. As always, if you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave a comment below. Catch you next time, Legion. Take care. Want some mint chocolate chip? Finish that too. Dude, what the hell?